Well, maybe I will try to re review this manga. It's the Ushio Totora, a pretty a long awaited anime. And I have uh, watched the first episode. It episode seems to be heading towards a very enjoyable manga, no, anime. With uh, although uh, it's also known that many of the voices are not exactly n known. Well, technically that is a lie. But well, the story follows Ushio Aotsuki, a very ugly-looking boy that has the memory of a goldfish because he cannot remember to, to dust the books, his homework, uh, uh, notebooks to his childhood friends, and more. But is also quite hot-headed, yet still kind-hearted. His uh, father, an eccentric uh, shaman, keeps uh, talking about yokai and they exist, but Ushio ignores that. That is until the father goes out on a trip. Uh, Ushio, by mistake, when he does the old, uh, the old house, finds a trapdoor where he, where he finds a yokai, a tiger-looking yokai uh, that talks like an old man yeah, and says he wants to eat Tor uh, Ushio. The funny thing is, though, they begin to argue, almost like... Uh, Ch children, despite the fact that this is a 3,000 year old yokai. But Ushio decides to just leave him there. Back on the way to school, we're introduced to two other main characters Asako Nakamura, a tomboyish girl with short black hair that has a tendency to always chase around Ushio and hit him because, well, Ushio is a dope. And uh, Mayako Inoue, who is a little bit more feminine, long uh, strawberry blonde hair, and a bit more feminine than Ushu, than Asako. Uh, as in the school days, uh, Ushio thinks about the day uh, the two girls visit him at home because Ushio hasn't delivered to Asako her notebook yet. But when they get there, they're being attacked by yokai. It turns out that when Ushio opened the door, the this tiger-like yokai grudges wave it out. I'm bearing to see his two best friends die because of him. Uh, Ushio decides to do something. The tiger-like yokai says he can save the human girls if mm, Ushio do something for him. The whole reason why he's sealed down there is because there's a spear in his chest. It's not killing him, but it's sealing him there. And he can't pull it out because it's a yokai. Only a human can. So Ushio does. But the tiger-like yokai decides not to keep his promise. But then some strange things happen in Ushio when he begins to fight the tiger-like yokai and commands him to destroy the enemy yokai. Eventually it turns out that somehow this spear is also very old and it can allow him to control the tiger-like yokai, which is named... Which which he names Tora because he looks like a tiger. And so the unlikely duo forms an uneasy alliance. Tora saying he can't wait for the day where Ushio will drop his guard so he can eat him. And Ushio promises to kill Tora if Tora ever goes berserk. That's basically this episode of Ushio and Tora. Well, what can we say? It's an enemy with a lot of potential. I don't know if I will review all of them, but I'll do at least some. But most of all, yeah, I was more uh, excited because, well, it was a total new voice actor. Well, the voice actor is not no, new, but uh, he is kind of new if you think about uh, uh, who he is. This is new, this CG is the same guy who voiced Juma from the Yu-Gi-Oh! ZL. In fact, here's a funny thing. He's being reunited uh, with another voice actress. The one who voices uh, Asako is Miyuko Ka Kamatsu, who also voiced a love interest for Yuma in that thing. So, well, call that crazy. Tora is voiced by Rikuya Koyama which is um, the, maybe the more famous one here. As I said before, uh, an enemy with a lot of potential. The art style maybe not, but I'm looking forward to follow this. But will I review it all? 
We'll see about it. If anybody's watching, do give me your thoughts.